Hello everybody and welcome back to another Nuclear Throne Ultra. Today we are going to try once again at the weekly to see if we can make something happen. I'm not sure who to go as this time. I like there's a bunch of Regal Visions I haven't seen yet so there's probably ones I should see. Let's just give it a go as good old fish I think to start with and see how that goes maybe. Um, I don't know I'm just I'm just thinking like maybe fish will have a good Regal Vision. Also the extra ammo definitely can't hurt so why not give this a go and just go as regular old fish to start things off here um we're of course going to go with the crown of inversion to start things out here I've, wait is this the weekly did i actually select weekly hold up hold up hold up hold up people hold up i don't even know if i selected weekly right there you go <laughs> i don't think i selected weekly there for a second no i didn't okay right regal vision um active lets you jump can still roll mid-air whoa oh whoa that's kind of amazing Oh my god. Okay, I, like, although that Regal Vision isn't anything, sp like, spectacular, that's pretty cool. I like the idea behind it. That's pretty interesting. A jump. I wonder what it's going to be like with Water Boost, um, with Thrunder on, because that could make it pretty good. I think that would be pretty gnarly. Yeah, still got the same weapons every time here. Might take Bolt Marrow right off the bat this time around, though. I will take that. And yeah, we'll take Bolt Marrow right off the bat, which is kind of one of the reasons I wanted to start with someone that's got a good old Bolt Golden Weapon. I'm a little curious as to why Golden Weapons are allowed on um, a run where it's seeded. It seems like it'd be best if, like, you couldn't choose what you started with, but I don't know. It's not a big deal, I guess. Now let's do this. Yeah, Bolt Marrow makes this nice and easy for us. I do like this weapon as well, right here. And we can go and get that super poison weapon. We don't have mood swing to make it quite as good, so but we do have bolt marrow, which I'm down with. Oh dude, I am taking some hits here. I need to hippity scoppity jump more often. Right, get rid of you guys. I can't remember where it was now. I think it was through here, wasn't it? Health not looking the best right now. Um, extra feet, I think, is going to be good here. Just remember to kill the midges before they get anywhere near us. And remember not to walk directly into the poison. Okay. I still think this is a good way to go here. The hip, the scop, the skibbity jumps are nice. The extra ammo is lovely. And we're starting to get familiar with the path now. The path to success. Cool, we grab that. We make sure we have that going. We grab Bolt Marrow. Take care of you guys. Yeah, Bolt Marrow with this weapon makes things a lot easier. And we just pop that straight away, because why not? Oh, Maggots, hello. No, thank you. We take our morph gun here. Because it does good damage. We all get jumped over. I think morph weapons kill before max HP. Because he died an 84 HP there. Right, let's keep our distance a little bit here. Because I kind of messed things up earlier. By getting way too close. I need to make sure I'm close enough to not lose out on rads though. That's the only thing. Yeah, I still messed things up. I still ended up at 1 HP somehow. Do not want to go through there. Actually, no, I do want to go through there. I'm just stupid. Okay. Cool. Through we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, extra feet again is going to be good. Going to go with Morph, because I think Morph is going to be the best way for us to avoid the little poison midges. Ah, ah, ah. Sheepies, save me. Thank you. I'm pretty sure one of these guys, yeah, I knew one of them got made their way up here. Dude, 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 Oh, those little things are fucking stupid. I need someone to retcon those little stupid bastards. Worst addition to Ultra Mod. You can keep the, the stupid ass poison in the game for a thousand years, but please. Please remove those things, or at least make them twice the size they are. They're just impossible to goddamn see. 
Even with the red outline. I, I just have no idea they're on the way towards me. It's, it's infuriating, is what it is. It's infuriating. My bolt marrow. Thank you for that health. Can't. Yeah, because if you watch, watch this guy's health, he'll die at 84 HP. I didn't actually let me vi visualize the HP there, but oh well. Right. I will, I will get this right one time. Dude, the bouncy shots are shitting on me. The bouncy shots are shitting on me. Maybe we won't take extra feet this time. Maybe we'll take adrenaline fuel. Look at all the midges. Look at all the midges. Little midget bastards think they own the goddamn place. Dude, they just get up in your grill. There ain't nothing you can do about it. There it is. Toxic on it as well. Cool. We got it. We got it. We are good to go. Okay, so... Strong Spirit is still off the bat. We could still take that. I think we probably will. Strong Spirit is just a really good one to take off the bat. Okay. Keep this moving. Keep this grooving. So this time we don't have... Oh, damn, I kind of forgot that did that. This time we don't have, uh, what's it called? Um, mood swing to dissipate the poison. So we do have to be a bit more careful using this than we previously were being. But it do it do be doing a good job. We've got bomb launcher here. I still don't remember how the bomb launcher works. Okay, it's just a big cross shot. that also sticks to enemies, which seems insanely dangerous. Okay. Whew, things are going well. Okay, so there's Mood Swing. We can grab that back again. So we're back on for a good run. So unfortunately, with it being a daily, we are going to see a sort of similar strategy each run. I mean, I can I can switch it up, but like this weapon is just so good with, um, with the old Mood Swing and all that good stuff. And now we've got Bolt Marrow to boot as well, which makes this thing even better. I'm going to go for the inverted area this time around, I think. I'm going to go with another swarm on this. Why not? Probably could have leveled up if I'd have killed the guardians there. That was my bad. Well, that's a lot of swarm, actually. Nice. And then we get this bad boy again. We like this lightning weapon. It is very good. Okay. Take Rhino skin here. I like my little hippity hop. I love the way I can charge, like, sort of, I want to say charge it, but in a way I can. Okay, that takes me straight through. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Poor Shep. Poor little Shep. Let me over there. Okay, I see a teapot down there.
We keep getting that same yo-yo weapon. Yo-yo mama. Energy backstabber? Maybe? Maybe energy backstabber. Tough shell or impact? I'm going to go with impact wrist this time around. And we'll stick with what we got going on here. Good, good. Bit of extra rads. Thank you. But yes, we will, we will prevail this time, I promise. I'm trying my best. I want that top three spot, baby. But yeah, I don't know which, like, path is best for the most amount of, like, kills and stuff. I'm, I'm really not sure. I don't know the metas. I just goddamn play the game. I don't know what the hell's going on. Paper craft gun. Ooh, I like it. It's also a bolt weapon as well. This seems like a pretty goddamn good weapon. Lots of strong herming. The damage isn't insane, but I think the utility of the, the herming and everything is, is pretty goddamn good. And it seems to be able to bounce around multiple enemies, so... I think I'll be using this for a little while here. Heavy shovel. Heavy shovel could be good as a backup. We'll see. Depends if this thing's a good enough primary yet, really. I'm not super convinced. Is that a Kraken machine gun? You know I'll be taking that. That sounds awesome. <laughs> You know I love Kraken. Both the alcohol, the mythic beast, and the weapon type. I said both. I meant all three. Um, I could go Alien Testins for the jumping, which could be kind of interesting. Back Muscle would be good too. Hypersomnia is always good. I'm going to go with that, because I, I think the Alien Testins plus the jump could, could save us in situations... Get out of here, you. Holy shit, he moves at some speed. God damn. That move's so funny, because it's like super scary, but it's like super actually hard for it to hit you unless you panic. So I could go for extra regal vision, I guess. Kraken Ion Cannon. The safety of that is quite alluring. Because <laughs> I can stand pretty far back. Not as strong as I would have thought it would be. It still seems pretty goddamn good. It's not quite as strong as I thought it would be. Can, can I still get my assault rifle back, my machine gun? Or is that is that ship sailed? That ship has sailed. Darn, son. Let's hoping it come with us. The, the what the hell? The, the, the what now? The charge overdrive? Ah, oh, this is a chaos weapon, isn't it? It don't matter, I'll keep it for now. Laser minigun. Never a bad shout. Why does the one left one enemy have to be all the way over here? You're just here. You just exist to annoy me, don't you? Yeah, honestly, that this thing seems better in theory than it is in practice. I think the machine gun would have been actually quite a lot better. Eh, it is what it is. Let's keep it moving. Um. Power craving, I think, yeah. Go with Kraken on this thing. Assault Flugger. I'm going to take the Assault Flugger. I think it'll do us a better job. It's also got a shotgun on it, which I think is pretty cool. Right, see how this does against this boss. I don't think it's going to be amazing. 
I can jump. I just gotta make sure I don't jump and touch him. Okay. It's doing pretty good damage, I gotta say. I would like Plutonium Hunger at some point, but it's probably gonna be a while away considering we're level 9. Yeah, we got him eventually. Took some doing what we got there. Right, assault Flogger, I think, for this guy. I'm only at six health, which worries me. Come on, dude. We've not got the best weapons for this guy, do we? There you go. We got him in the end. I did get Ultra here as well. Rather nice. Right. What have we got in terms of our Ultra mods here? See, this is another thing as well. My secret Ultras aren't all unlocked, but when it's seeded, everything should be unlocked, surely. I don't know. Whatever. Okay, so enemies sometimes drop chests. Opening chests cast a shield. Um... Affected by drop rate, open mind, increases chance by 10%. That's pretty good. Infinite ammo, we know this one. Um, on entering a stage, killing a boss gives another 8 seconds. Gain a partner. And reduce ammo and rag cost by 5%. Significantly increase reload speed depending on your speed. Much more effective when rolling. We've just got to go for gun warren. It's just, it's just simply too good. And again, as always, we'll take the reduced, uh, reduced ban. Because that just makes the first loop a bit easier. Right, let's see how we go, shall we? Really? A lot of bad damage I just took there. A lot of bad damage. Why, why can't... Oh, it's cursed. I keep I, I keep wondering why I can't pick up weapons. This thing's goddamn cursed. Are you forgetting that? If you could not kill me, that would be great. Explosive blade gun sounds pretty, pretty awesome too. Explosive is scary, but blade gun sounds good. Wait, isn't the blade gun the one that can hurt me? I made a mistake here. Let's not die here, because that would be stupid. Ooh, that was kind of close. Auto Frost Flare Gun. Seems like a pretty good AoE killer. Dude, the, the poison guys, man. They're such BS. This thing's doing us a good job, though. This thing with mood swings is pretty good. Flame Bazooka's back again. I don't know what, um... I don't know what's best for looping in terms of uh, crowns. Dude, what did I what did I die to then? I don't even know. I don't even know what I died to then. Damn, I'm not getting great scores at the moment. Nothing like that first one. That first one was mwah, chef's kiss, but unfortunately, I am not as good as I once was. I'm, I'm fourth now. 
don't, how do people do it? How on earth do people do it? Also, what's the deal with people taking about a billion crowns? I don't, I'm, I'm confused by that. <laughs> I'm definitely confused by that. Um, Dark Sword seems to be something that a lot of people have. Ultra Sword Gun, god damn, that, 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 that's amazing. But yeah, people like this to have like a billion crowns, what's that about? Why do you use so many crowns? What's the deal? There's obviously something that I don't know about. And then blood to explosion, or is that explosion to blood? Interesting. Either way, we'll leave it there. I'm probably going to try and improve this at some point, but right now I'm not doing a great job of it. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.